Hey guys, welcome back to The Buzz. Today I am sitting with John Almond of JAA Architecture. How are you doing, John? Great. Good. So tell me a little bit about JAA Architecture. Um, we were founded in 2009. We have an office over in Riverside. We've got about um, eight employees and we do about 50% commercial, 50% residential. Okay, and which one do you prefer? Um, you know, residential is kind of probably where my heart is, but commercial, you know, helps pan the bills. <laughs> I'm sure. And then since residential is your favorite, what's your favorite project you've done so far? Oh, I don't know. I, you know, probably my favorite one's the the next one, but we, uh, we're doing some super contemporary kind of condos right now at the beach. I think that's really fun. Mm -hmm. And is that the next project you were talking about? Is your favorite or is that one uh, No, the next wraps? one I just don't even know about because it hasn't <laughs> come yet. Oh, okay. So you always <laughs> like the next. I got you. I got you. And then I know you all do interior design as well. Yeah, I'm a licensed interior designer, state of Florida. Okay. And then how do you choose which, which jobs you, you know, do the inside as well as the architecture? Um, you know, it, it kind of just works itself out. Um, sometimes people are looking for interior design, mm -hmm. um, and you know we offer that service. Sometimes, you know, it makes sense for them to, uh, you know, they have a, a prior relationship with interior design that they use. So it, it just, you know, it's a service that we offer, but you know, it's just kind of an added bonus. And which one did you get into first, interior design or architecture? Um, architecture. So I went to University of Florida for architecture, and um, you know, was just kind of looking at kind of broadening the scope of services that we offer at J Architecture and decided to offer interior design. Mm -hmm. And I noticed you also offer 3D printing. No, we got a 3D printer in the office and, you know, we, we try to have kind of a fun environment in the office and, you know, several years ago when 3D printers started to kind of make, become more or less popular, we, we uh, you know, we, you know, we went out and had a few beers and we were kind of thinking about the possibility of you know, I mean, we create a lot of 3D content inside of a computer anyway, and mm -hmm. so it was kind of a, uh, a an easy jump to go from that content to kind of, you know, just plugging it into a printer and having it print. Plus, you know, in, in, in architecture school, a lot of times you're building models, mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, we, we thought that might be fun. Did it make it easier at all using the 3D printing, or do you have to build the models by hand? Um, well, it's a really good question. I, you know, it's um, some things are very easy to create in a 3D printer, and other things, especially like custom geometry, mm -hmm. can probably be more complicated to create on in a 3D printer than it would be to just kind of, you know, cut it out with scissors and paper. <laughs> okay. And then, what has been your uh, favorite local project so far? That we've done. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, we, we're doing that project out of the beach. The condos. And um, we really, really like that. Um, you know, we're doing a charter school right now um, for uh, called Saltec. It's uh, on the northwest side. And mm -hmm. we had a lot of fun with that one. Um, that's under construction right now and should be completed, um, you know, for, for the start of uh, school. And then, you know, going through the process of, you know, the whole architecture, what is your favorite part of the process? Well, I, I like... Um, you know, the, the early meetings, I think, are the best because they're the most kind of formative of the projects where mm -hmm. you kind of really start, you know, you listen to what the client is looking for mm -hmm. and you try to kind of get an idea of what the scope of the project might be and see how you can kind of insert architecture and create value for the client. I think that's, that's um, exciting. And are those initial meetings kind of where you draw your inspiration from for a project or that just come to you? Um, well, I mean, I think there's absolutely some things that are, you know, when you're doing some fact finding about what a client's looking for, that, that's certainly very formative. But, you know, you always want to kind of bring it back to the shop, kind of, you know, start drawing the pretty pictures. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think some, some kind of ideas kind of start bubbling to the top naturally through that process. Okay. And then um, what would you say, um, excuse me, what would you say you look for when hiring an architect? I'm sorry. When I hire an architect? Well, I very rarely <laughs> hire architects. When someone else is looking to hire an architect, what should they look for? Well, they can look for the J Architecture logo. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, any specifics on, you know, if they get into architecture? Well, okay, so if you're, if you're hiring an architect, you really want to pick someone that you trust. I think trust is a big deal for hiring an architect. Um, you want to, you know, you want to pick someone that um, I think that, you know, kind of, 
you feel like can bring some uh, some ideas to the table. Trust, mm -hmm. experience. I mean, I think those are key elements. Okay, definitely. And is there anything else you would like to tell uh, the viewers of Jacksonville? I'm good. All righty. Well, thank you so much, John, for joining us today. Thanks. And thank you all for tuning in. We will see you next time at The Buzz.